Hello and welcome to the section of the Chemistry Tutor. Uh, in this section we're going to uh, switch gears a little bit and do a problem of this kind where I'm actually going to give you the reaction ahead of time, give you some information, and then we're going to solve the problem. So what we're given is a reaction that looks like this. Uh, Na2CO3 and what we're going to do is add an acid to this and what we're going to get is sodium chloride plus water plus carbon dioxide gas. So we're given that to you and notice this reaction is already balanced. Uh, there's the coefficients here that are a two and if you go and take the time to look at everything you'll see that this reaction is totally balanced. So the question is if 42.43 milliliters of hydrochloric acid solution is used to titrate 0.251 grams Na2CO3 to the equivalence point, what is the molar concentration of the acid? It could be any reaction. In this case we have this stuff combining with the HCl. And notice that we're told how, mi how many, many milliliters of HCl solution uh, and we're titrating it with so many grams of Na2CO3. So we're taking it to the equivalence point. So this means is that when we add all this stuff there, when we add this much hydrochloric acid to this much Na2CO3, then when we reach the equivalence point, what that means is that they're all, everything is consumed, everything is reacted, there's nothing left over. That's what the equivalence point means in this context. And notice that what we're asked in the end game is what is the molar concentration of the acid? We're asked what is the concentration? Concentration is moles per liter, it's molarity, moles per liter. Now notice, if you really think about it, with the hydrochloric acid that we have, we're already given how many milliliters of it we have. So concentration is moles per liter, right? So I already, even though it's in milliliters, I already know what the volume